Okay, hello everybody, you're watching Hurricane Central. We're tracking three hurricanes out in the oceans right now. You can see the major story right now, Hurricane Harvey. <laughs> It's an insane and scary hurricane. Three, and then it went up to a four as it made landfall on Corpus Christi near Rockport. They got devastated. They got up to 50 inches of rain in uh, Texas. It's going to make a third landfall. Another 20 inches expected. Houston Airport. You need like a seaplane to land there. The official landfall was at 10 p.m. Central Time, so 11 o'clock Eastern here. And it was a uh, Category 4, 130. And then it did a weird turn. It went into the land and then the, and then it made a third land because the first one made landfall on a, um, a barrier island so then it went over the bay and then made official landfall on the state. It went out to Louisiana and now it's heading up to the east coast right now to New Jersey. And then tropical uh, nor'easter 10 went out to sea and uh, we only had about a half inch of rain you'll see in a second. Okay everybody you're watching Hurricane Central tra uh, update you on these uh, three tropical storms heading our way. Right now we're tracking tropical storm 10. This is not Harvey. Harvey's coming this this Saturday into Sunday, Labor Day weekend, but right now we have Tropical Cyclone 10. It's no longer to be going to be Irma. This is the last advisory. Currently 46 miles per hour. It has to be around 55, 63, I think, for a tropical storm. Right now it's a subtropical storm as the 2 o'clock advisory, bringing us rain up to an inch of rain. Nothing major, but the, for some reason there's a flood advisory. Like, what the heck? For one inch of rain, this is ridiculous. This must be a joke or something. It's going to strengthen as it goes out to sea. It's going to go up to 81 miles per hour on Thursday in the, at 2 in the morning. Hurricane Harvey right now, or Tropical Storm Harvey now. It's finally moving and then it hits our area on Saturday. And then there's something after Saturday, after we get hit, it'll only be a few, like an inch or two of rain like what we're getting here. And then there's something for September 10th, way far in advance, a, tr a hurricane possibly off the coast of New Jersey. Stay tuned. The live uh, coverage from Long Beach Island, here is Alec Heflin. Okay, we're here, we're checking Hurricane to Harvey right here. This is the remnants again, about 30, 40 mile per hour winds right now. You can see we're supposed to get one, one to three. Holy cow, it's pouring like crazy down here. There might be some flooding occurring. Oh wow, you can see the flooding. Send it back in the lab now, it's Alan Kaplan. Okay, we're back and now we're tracking our next hurricane, major hurricane now. It's gonna, exp it's a potential to hit New Jersey, Hurricane Irma. You can see here's the track right over here. It's uh, going up and down. It went from a Category 1, a tropical storm to Category 2 within a few hours because it had a rapid intensification. And now it's going through an eye wall cycle, which means... It's in the pressure is going to go up and down. I mean, the storm is going to reintensify and go down. Pressure bombs down to 896 millibars. That's ridiculous. And then here, we don't know what's going to go past seven, eight days. The, the forecast models don't know because the European model wants to take it near Florida and South Carolina, that area. And also, the American model says it goes right into New Jersey and New York and it cr uh, crushes us. You can see this is the ensemble model, the spaghetti plots of all the projected paths that 
that they think it's going to head. Probably going to hit the Caribbean or brush the Caribbean. Category 2 right now. And then it's going to go up to a Category 3 probably later within the next advisory, I'd say. And then it's going to go up and down, back and forth. But then by Wednesday, it gets ex interesting. It goes up to a Category 4 hurricane. And then it goes near the Caribbean. But then we don't know what happens after that. I'm not telling anybody yet because they don't want anybody to panic yet or get it nervous because this is still 10 to 12 days out in advance. It's going to hit the Barrier Islands of New Jersey on Sunday morning, September 10th at a, around 8, 10 a.m. Ex to pinpoint the exact time if this model holds still at 122 miles per hour at the Barrier Islands of New Jersey and it's going to be 75 miles per hour in Central Jersey. But here's the other model, the European model. Usually this is more likely track but this one, say, this one goes really slow which is really bad. It's going to hit South Carolina and then we don't know what's going to happen. Usually it weakens as it makes landfall but I think one of the, some of the models, the advanced models after 10 days is saying it's going to go up the east coast so we're going to have to stay tuned because we may get hit. There's a 50, 60, 70 percent chance that this will head. Well currently right now it could go down and go back up and down. We still have 10 days so you're going to want to stay tuned for Continuing updates. Stay tuned. Okay, new scary information right here. 925 is what I showed you before. That's Katrina's pressure. Look at this. Holy cow, 903 millibars. I can't even think of a hurricane that low. This is concerning because look, Her 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 Hurricane Harvey was 938. Whoa, and Hurricane Sandy was 940 millibars. And Camille was 900 millibars.